Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So as I mentioned in my last video, this is my weaning essentials video all the things that you will need when you start to wean your baby onto solids. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and I film videos on all sorts of things from motherhood to money saving. So I'd love for you to subscribe down below and also make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video because it really helps out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. So starting weaning is such a fun and exciting time for you and your baby, but it can also be very messy, very time consuming. And I do sometimes feel that I am just always in the kitchen cooking or cleaning or wiping down the floor so these are a few things which will hopefully make weaning that little bit easier for you these are all the things which i am so glad i have and which have just made things so much easier so firstly your baby's going to need a high chair or somewhere to sit we did so much research on high chairs i found it very confusing i'm so indecisive we were so torn on whether to buy the 15 pound ikea high chair or the 250 pound stokey trip trap we were genuinely so close to buying the stokey it has such amazing reviews but it's so expensive all the parts need to be bought separately so it really adds up whereas the ikea is cheap and cheerful so many mums use it so many people have told me that it is a brilliant choice so in the end we did end up going for the ikea high chair and i'm so glad we did i actually love it and it's been one of the best baby purchases so far we did want kian to have some foot support they say it's really important for your child to have somewhere to rest their feet just as we feel a bit unstable when we're sitting on a bar stool and we don't have anywhere to rest our feet babies can feel the same so we did buy a little foot rest for him from Etsy which I think was another 15 pounds so all in all we spent 30 quid on the high chair and it's been brilliant I love that it's so easy to clean it all wipes down and I'm pretty sure you can put the parts in the dishwasher as well although we haven't had to do that yet we also have quite a small kitchen and some high chairs can have really big stands which take up so much room but the IKEA one is nice and compact the legs actually come out if you need to take it somewhere with you but yeah it's just a lovely lightweight compact high chair it's so easy for us to move it around even with Kian in it we can just slide it along from room to room I never feel like he's going to topple over in it and so I would highly recommend the Ikea high chair if you are in the market for one another thing which you're definitely going to need are bibs obviously you can't use the little milk bibs when you're weaning ideally you need something waterproof and something that's going to catch all the food that the baby drops so we bought these Bibardo bibs we've got two of them and they're basically big kind of coveralls baby can just put their arm through there and they've got little buttons so you can make the sleeves shorter if your baby is smaller we actually keep them buttoned up at the moment because Kian's only six months and they also have a strap on the bottom to go underneath the high chair tray it's completely waterproof so I don't have to worry about Kian with the sippy cup or if he knocks a bowl of puree over I know that nothing is going to get through to his clothes I actually really love these bibs and would highly recommend them they are from a brand called Bibardo and I believe they were about 20 pounds each but they always have offers on. We bought them when they were 50% off, so we pay 20 pounds for two of them, and these are the only two bibs we have. We use them every single day. After he's eaten, I just wipe it down with a cloth. They dry really quickly, so I would highly recommend these. I wouldn't even really bother with the bibs, which um, silicon bibs with cups, and you just don't need so many bibs. Just two good ones will do the job. So when it comes to cooking your baby food at home, it is actually so, so easy. Obviously, you need a saucepan. We had this little saucepan anyway and this is what I use to boil up all his little portions it works perfectly obviously if you're doing baby led you can then serve that to your baby on the high chair tray or on a little suction plate but because we're doing purees I like to use this little ham blender this is actually a really good one it is by a brand called cookworks and I think this is from Argos it was only like 20 or 30 quid and um, we actually had it anyway because I use it to make soups and things like that but obviously since we started weaning Kian I'm using it multiple times a day and it's so good my mum's got another hand blender which I think was from Tesco's and it's nowhere near as good as this it just makes the vegetables kind of lumpy it doesn't properly puree them so I'd highly recommend a hand blender and if you are looking for one the cookworks brand is very very good I'm gonna leave all of the items I've mentioned linked down below in case you want to find anything but after you've made your purees you're gonna need some utensils to feed your baby with so I have got a variety of bowls and spoons here I have no idea where this bowl is from but my mother-in-law gave it to me and it's pretty much what I feed Kian with every day it's nice and shallow so if Kian wants to reach in and feel the food it's really easy 
for him. I do also have this really lovely bamboo bowl and spoon, but at the moment I think he's just a bit too small. I have tried using this bowl and sticking it to the high chair, but at the moment it's just a bit too deep for him to reach into. And also the spoon is a little bit big for his mouth, but I do think that this will be brilliant when he's a bit bigger and he's able to get a bit more control with the spoon and feed himself. As I mentioned, this spoon is a little big for his mouth. So we did start off with these weaning spoons. This one is from a brand called Munchkin. It's just the perfect shape for his little mouth. These ones are perfect to start off with. You can also also get little spoons and forks which have handles for the baby to hold on to. My friends got them and they look amazing. Her son does really well with them and it's just a great way to introduce them to cutlery but I decided not to get them. Instead I just give Kian this spoon to play with sometimes so sometimes he'll hold on to this and he can have a little taste of the food on here but really I'm feeding him with this spoon. So yeah if you do want to get your baby familiar with spoons then I think it is better to have a smaller spoon like this because I found when I give this to Kian I just get scared he's going to poke it into his eye or he shoves it a bit too far down his um, mouth so I would recommend getting a smaller spoon like this if that's something you want to do. When we do baby led weaning I usually just put the bits of food down on his tray for him. So at six months you can also start introducing water to your baby's diet. We just got this little sippy cup from Tommy Tippy. We literally just bought this <laughs> spare of the moment and it works really well for us. It was only like £1.50 and it's BPA free and all that stuff. Obviously when you're buying any plastic baby utensils you want to make sure that they're BPA free and don't have any like nasty chemicals or toxins in them. It took Kian a while to figure out how to use this but he pretty quickly learned that he needs to suck on the little red teat and yeah he loves this. It's also really nice for him to practice holding on to. He can now bring it to his mouth but he hasn't quite figured out that he needs to tilt it to get the water out so yeah if you are looking for a sippy cup this one is really lovely and also very cheap so i actually mentioned in my last video that after i've finished feeding kian if i've got any leftovers or if i've made too much food i'll usually just freeze it the best way to freeze baby food is in ice cube trays i didn't really have any ice cube trays which were suitable which were big enough so i bought this one on amazon it actually came in a pack of two and it's got a little lid and as you can see i've got his little purees in there which are frozen i need to pop this back in the freezer in a minute but I actually love these they're really good firstly I love that it's got a lid so I don't have to worry about it spilling or getting dirt and then they also are silicone at the bottom so you don't need to bend the tray you can just pop them out really easily and so Kian will usually have three cubes as one portion so I think at the moment I've got broccoli and potato in here this is avocado and butter bean and this is what is this oh this is um tomatoes and red peppers I did also in the past just used to make up one vegetable and freeze the whole thing but that wasn't really working for me I just found I had like too much of the same thing if you know what I mean so now what I'll do is if I think that I've got some veg which might go off in the next few days I'll just cook it and freeze it obviously then I'm preventing any food waste but I also can make some nice food combinations so if I've got some frozen carrot and some frozen cauliflower I will just I'll take like two cauliflower cubes and one carrot cube and then just defrost that and cook it all together and it's nice to be able to like mix and match vegetables in that way but I didn't want to have like a huge stash of food I don't want him to be eating food that's been frozen for like weeks and weeks if I'm freezing it I'm generally trying to use it within the next week or two so yeah I hope that makes sense um, but obviously whatever works for you um, I just think freezing is a really good way to prevent waste because sometimes you can cook them a whole meal and they'll have like two or three mouthfuls and won't want any more and it's just a great way to prevent any waste. We've also bought a couple of these pouches. We've only used them a couple of times but I think they're brilliant to have in the house just as an emergency. There's been times where I've cooked Kian something and he didn't like it at all so I ended up giving him like a yogurt and blueberry pouch and he really liked it and it just made me feel like he did get a bit of dinner. I don't think there's anything wrong with giving um like pouch food to your babies when you look at the ingredients it all seems organic and really clean i actually think it's really easy to make baby food at home but um if you are going to buy pouches i would recommend getting the supermarket own brand ones this one is from sainsbury's um and then i've also got this one from aldi this is the mamia range it's so much cheaper to buy the own brand stuff rather than the ella's kitchen pouches and things like that and if you look at the ingredients they're pretty much the same so that is pretty much everything i'm using for weaning but I I did find these in my cupboard as well I didn't even know I had we get so many lovely gifts and bits and bobs so I think that someone must have bought us these but they're basically um, little weaning pots 
so you can store any leftover food in it obviously you don't have to freeze leftovers you could just keep them in the fridge for a couple of days um so yeah i'm definitely going to start using these i didn't even know i had them they look brilliant obviously you don't have to use these you can use whatever tupperware you store your normal food in but these actually look quite good because the lids are leak proof so if you're ever going anywhere and you're out and about you can put baby's food into here um, obviously I haven't had to do that yet because we aren't going anywhere in lockdown but um, I do think these would be really handy for that also as they get older you can use them as a little snack pot um, and also you can freeze them so if I've got quite a big portion I can just stick the whole tub in the freezer so these are from a brand called Vital Baby never heard of them they're BPA free again but I'm sure you can find similar things on Amazon or in the supermarket so I thought I'd just mention them as well oh and lastly Tony actually told me that I should mention this but we have this teething toy I think it's from newbie and it's a little shark and it is kian's favorite teething toy ever and sometimes if we're doing baby led he can get a bit angry when we take the food away from him usually when he's eaten it all and it's completely mush and we're trying to take it away from him he gets really angry so this is a good one to just kind of slip in their hand so that they don't realize you've taken the food away we just give him this and he'll happily chew away on it and so yeah if you're doing baby led weaning i would recommend having a little teething toy around as well so i really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you have any other the weaning essentials do leave them down in the comments below i'm sure it'll be really helpful for any other mum who's scrolling through the comments if you haven't done so already please make sure to subscribe and like this video and i will see you next time bye